Hello you guys. Today I'm going to talk about the Lush Kitchen and what they're going to be making for anyone to buy next week, July 24th through July 28th. And the Lush Kitchen will be making some summery treats, they say, next week. On Monday, Lush is going to be making Coolio face mask and Avo shower shower jelly. Now, Coolio face mask is a retro Lush fresh face mask made with cucumber, and there's not a lot of info about it on the on the interwebs, but I do have something in my Lush wiki about it. However, I'm having a lot of problems with my Lush wiki and photo bucket. Photo Bucket is uh, no longer hosting um, third-party pictures, so I have to take all of the pictures off of Photo Bucket from the wiki and uh, just have them on my own domain, and then I can uh, redo and re-upload all of the Lush Wiki photos. So um, the Coolio was a dark green color. And I can't remember what type of skin it was made for. I apologize about that. This is a fresh face mask. So those of us who live in the States won't be able to get one because they don't uh, travel. The fresh face masks don't travel well. Coolio is going to be £6.95, which works out to $9.02. Also on Monday, Avo Shower Shower Jelly. So here's Avo Shower. A lot of people are going to be really happy about this one. Now, Avo Shower Shower Jelly um, isn't a retro shower jelly per se. So the last time they made this for us was on the UK forum in 2006. They never sold this to the public or in any of the stores or anything like that. And so Lush Kitchen remade this in 2016, years and years and years later. So we were really, really excited to see Avo Shower Jelly. And so this will be the third time that the Lush Kitchen will be making this. And this has the same ingredients and scent fragrance as the Avo Bath bath bomb that Lush sells in all the stores. It's the green one that smells very citrusy and has avocado in it for moisturization and a little bit of green glitter. And the jelly is the same. It's got green shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it there? Let me read the ingredients. It says it has lemongrass infusion as its first ingredient and bergamot oil, lemongrass oil, and rosewood oil. And it's suitable for vegans. So lemongrass, bergamot, lemongrass oil, and rosewood oil. So you can see how citrusy it is. I don't believe the jelly has avocado in it like the bath bomb and the shower gel because it doesn't say it has avocado on the ingredients list. Now a shower jelly is an alternative to soap. So you can use the whole thing and plop it out in one big jelly. <laughs> one big wiggly lovely jelly and wash your body with that in the shower or you can cut it into slices and put a slice at the sink like a soap or uh, some people blend it in a blender and use it like a shower smoothie some people cut it up into cubes and use it in a kitchen sieve and then use that as a bubble bath I have a video that I just uploaded a couple days ago where I make a bubble bath with two different jellies. I have a demo and review video of this jelly close up on here on my YouTube channel and I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. So that's Avo Shower. So Lush has made a bath bomb called Avo Bath and a shower gel called Avo Shower. And here's the jelly. I would rate Avo Shower Jelly a 5 out of 5 rating. It's got a strong scent. It's a gorgeous emerald green color. It has sparkle in it. Um, what's not to like? Avo Shower is going to be £8.25, which works out to $10.70. On Tuesday, Tuesday is a good day, Lush is going to be having Happy Blooming Body Lotion and Happy Blooming Bath Melt. A lot of you guys were asking me where I got my Happy Blooming Body Lotion and I had got it from a Lush Japan Kitchen and so I had a feeling that the Lush UK were going to sell some too 
And so I'm really, really glad to see it in there. So those of you that like the uh, happy blooming scent as much as I can, can now uh, try to get the body lotion. So here's the happy blooming bath melt. And it's a big bath melt. It's like a half moon shape. And it's got little, um, and it's got little cherry, cherries on here. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got little sections, little triangular sections. There's three of them, one, two, three. So you can use the whole thing in the bath, you can use the half in the bath, or you can cut these sections, which is what I do when I have a section per bath. This has a lovely, lovely cherry juice and coconut fragrance. Mm. It's way more cherry-ish than the comforter. It's one of my favorite scents. The bath melt is very softening. It leaves the water very pale pink and uh, doesn't have any glitter in it or anything like that. I would rate the Happy Blooming Bath Melt a 4 out of 5 rating. The Happy Blooming Bath Melt is going to be £4.75, which works out to $6.16. Also on Tuesday, Happy Blooming Body Lotion. And this is a real rare one-off thing. Lush has never made this for the public or sold it for the public anywhere. So this is a Lush Kitchen exclusive. So if those of you who like to collect rare things, this would be one of the ones to buy. And let me show it to you. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's a white color. I was kind of hoping it would be a pink color, but it smells so good. Oh God. Some people don't like Happy Blooming because they kind of feel that it smells a little cough medicine-y. And I know what you're saying. I My nose, thank God, doesn't pick out the cough medicine-y medicine <laughs> note. All I smell is cherries. And I, Happy Blooming is a weird Lush product because every time I smell it, I actually, my mouth starts to water. It, it really does. <laughs> oh, God, it smells so good. So if you like cherry, you would like the Happy Blooming Body Lotion. Now, this is in Japanese, <laughs> so I'm unable to read it. I apologize. However, the bath melt ingredients uh, have passion flower oil, dried cherries, fresh passion fruit juice, and a lang, -lang oil. So passion fruit juice and a lang, lang oil is what the bath melt has. And the Happy Blooming Lotion also has a cherry infusion and passion fruit juice. It's medium thin, so that's Happy Blooming. And I use it, it makes my skin moisturized. It doesn't leave it too greasy. I do have dry skin, so that's Happy Blooming Body Lotion. I would rate Happy Blooming Body Lotion a 5 out of 5 rating. Happy Blooming Body Lotion is going to be £13.95, which works out to $18.10. On Wednesday, Lush is going to be making one of my favorite soaps, Sunny Citrus Soap. And here's Sunny Citrus Soap. It's kind of a uh, two-toned yellowy-orange color. and. This has a nice citrus scent. It's made with uh, oranges. And those of you who remember the Lush Retro Bath Bomb called the Sicilian that the Lush Kitchen has also made, well, this is the scent twin to the Sicilian, the Sunny Citrus Soap. And when this was being sold as a regular soap in stores many years ago, I loved this soap. One time they were selling it on the retro section of their website when they used to do retro. And I bought two 500 gram pieces of soap, of this soap. So I had a kilo of Sunny Citrus soap at one point. <laughs> and the uh, Sunny Citrus soap that they used to sell in the stores had a big giant sun on it. And so I had, a, I have a big piece with the big sun on it. And this is the ones, the ones from the kitchen are going to be rectangular and look just like this one. And to be honest, this particular piece of soap has no scent, almost, almost no scent whatsoever. Can't smell one single, <laughs> it's like a blank, 
it's like a blank scent like I don't know it's really bizarre so as far as this particular batch or piece of sunny citrus um, as far as this specimen is concerned I would say this is a one or a two out of five so hopefully when the lush kitchen makes them this time they will actually have you know an orange kind of a scent so that's sunny citrus sunny citrus soap is going to be four pounds fifty which works out to five dollars and eighty four cents on Thursday, Lush is going to be making Chris Dingle body conditioner. Here's Chris Dingle. And Lush had made this a couple of years ago for Christmas. And it's a really minty and menthol y body conditioner with a gorgeous blue color. I did a demo video and review video of this Chris Dingle body conditioner here on my YouTube channel. And so I'll put the link to the close up demo of this below. And this is a 225 gram and that's what it looks like isn't that gorgeous it's this gorgeous blue color so thick it just does it won't come out of there it won't come out and that's good because it's a body conditioner not a lotion and oh my god the smell just coming off of this mint and menthol so let me read the ingredients this has organic jojoba oil as its first ingredient, and then something called muru muru butter, glycerin, shea butter, menthol crystals, peppermint, spearmint, grapefruit, and cassia oil. Now, a body conditioner is, mm, it's like a hair conditioner except for your skin. And so how you use it is you take a shower or a bath like you normally would with soap or shower gel or whatever, and then you rinse that off. Then you slather this all over your body and you just kind of rub it around for a couple of seconds like lotion, but it's not going to, it's not going to like disappear into your skin like lotion does. Uh, what you do after you rub this around, you just rinse it off immediately with warm water. And that's all you do but the results are going to be very soft and moisturized skin with no lotiony you know stuff left over on your skin I know I always say this whenever I review one but for me I have dry skin and my skin just loves it it just soaks it up just like a sponge and there's nothing no residue left so Chris Dingle I would rate Chris Dingle a five out of five rating now it has mint but it also has menthol in it so some people think menthol is sort of medicinal smelling I I don't Chris Dingle body conditioner is going to be 13 pounds 95 which works out to 18 dollars and 10 cents also on Thursday Okay, oh my God. Lush Kitchen is gonna be making Maypole Body Lotion. Oh my God. <laughs> and um, the reason I get so excited is because Lush, Lush, Lush or the Lush Kitchen have never made Maypole Body Lotion. Whenever Lush does a real one-offy kind of thing, I just love them. <laughs> I live for that stuff. You guys know I do, right? So this is Maypole soap. Now this is a fairly new soap for Lush that they sell in all of their stores. And this came out initially at the Oxford Street store and then Lush incorporated this soap into all of their stores across the world, including the US and the UK, Canada and Europe and everywhere else. And it's uh, sold in the stores in long pink poles with this green in the middle. And this one has maple syrup and mint in it. So there's two or three different play on words on the name of this maple. And so it just works. Initially I thought maple syrup and mint, but, but it works. I mean, basically you mostly smell mint and it's not a sweet mint like 
freeze shower gel or ice blue. And then it has this sort of gentle, smooth sweetness underneath from the maple syrup. But I don't smell it and smell maple syrup. I smell mint first and sort of this, the maple syrup note is sort of in the background. So it gives it a smoothness. So that's the maple soap. So Lush is going to be making a body lotion in that same fragrance. And naturally I don't have one because Lush has never made one before ever. So I'm really excited. I get to try something new and I like maple. So I think this is a great idea. I think the idea of maple body lotion is a five out of five. Lush Kitchen, you rock when you do stuff like that. Like all the body lotions and body conditioners next week, the Lush Maypole body lotion is going to be selling for £13.95, which works out to $18.10. Friday in the Lush Kitchen is the Ginger Day in the Lush Kitchen. So Ginger Fragrance is a ginger root and rose fragrance. It's a love it or hate it fragrance in the Lush community. There is no mediocre or medium average or eh about ginger. People either are love ginger or they hate ginger like ugh, kind of a hate. So Friday we'll be catering to the ginger loving folks. And so Lush is going to be making ginger perfume. Wow. And not the solid perfume, I don't believe. I think I think it's the liquid perfume that they're going to be selling, which they haven't done in a long time. Here is a ginger perfume that I have, a vintage one. Here's some trivia. The ginger fragrance is one of Lush's first products, kind of like Blackberry Balm and those kinds of products. When Lush called themselves Cosmetics To Go before they uh, called themselves Lush, they sold ginger and it was one of their top selling products. It was their biggest, most popular line of products. They had the perfume and the soap. Uh, they had other ginger things back then, but the longevity of the ginger fragrance is pretty amazing considering they've been selling this perfume in one way or another since 1993. So, uh, a lot of us don't like the ginger fragrance, but clearly there are a lot of people that do. So this is considered by Lush to be a classic Lush fragrance. Uh, the bottle is not going to look like this and it's not going to have this kind of label, but it'll be in a 30 ml bottle probably and uh, the square bottles. And let me read what the ingredients are in the perfume. So this has ginger oil as its first ingredient. And then it has mimosa oil, which is a floral. Then this has rose oil, geranium oil, jasmine oil, alang alang oil, and juniper berry oil. Alang alang flower, jasmine flower, geranium flower, rose flower, mimosa flower. So it's really floral smelling, very rose, very strong and perfumey rose and jasmine scent with this spicy ginger root kick. So this is not a sweet smell at all. It's not a sweet, girly, innocent spring scent. This is not that. This is a heavy, rose, sexy, bold fragrance. And so if you like um, things like ghost fragrance from the ghost shower gel or sex bomb fragrance or, uh, you know, joy of jelly or those kinds of things, then you might like ginger. It's sort of in that same sort of family of florals, except this one is uh, very uh, sort of almost bitter with the ginger root. So the perfume is going to be 19 pounds, which works out to $24.65. Also on Friday, Lush is going to be selling the ginger body lotion. And here's the ginger body lotion. And I'll open it here. Now the ginger body lotion is much thicker than the other lotions. Um, it's not so thick that you can turn it upside down, but it's noticeably thicker. So I would rate the thickness of this particular batch anyway. All the batches are different, so it's hard to say. 
This one I would say would be like a four on the on the um, thickness scale. So it, you can't hold it upside down, but it's not thin either. So it's somewhere somewhere in the sort of like medium thick. I have a, a scent family photo I did of the ginger fragrance family that I can show you. This is an elegant blend of lingering rose and exotic jasmine with a feisty ginger kick. So the, uh, the body lotion, the first ingredient in the body lotion is a lang, -lang flower infusion, then fresh ginger root infusion, almond oil, cocoa butter, ginger oil, mimosa oil, rose oil, geranium oil, jasmine oil, a lang, -lang oil, and oak moss extract. So that's ginger body lotion. Also on Friday is the ginger shower gel. And it's a pink color. All the ginger all the ginger products are pink. It doesn't have any sparkle in it and it is on the sort of thick side so I would give it a four on a scale of one to five of the thickness of this. I would rate ginger a two out of five. Um, I don't really enjoy the fragrance, but I do understand that um, a lot of people do. So that's just my opinion about ginger. Ginger shower gel is going to be 11 pounds 25, which works out to $14 and 59 cents. And those are the things that the Lush Kitchen are going to be making for anyone to buy next week, July 24th through July 28th. I think that Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday are going to be the um, sort of busiest days uh, in the Lush Kitchen. I think Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday has the tendency to sell out in, you know, in a few hours on that same day. Wednesday and Friday, eh, I think that, I don't know that things will sell out Wednesday and Friday. What I'm going to be getting is a Maypole body lotion or two, another Happy Blooming body lotion. And so, yeah, so what things sound interesting to you guys next week? I'm going to put a poll up there in a corner like I usually do. And so you guys, let me know what, what things that you're wanting to get. So a lot of things going on in the Lush world. So Lush released their discontinued products list for 2017 yesterday. I did a video of that here on my YouTube channel and I have an alphabetical list of all of the discontinued products on my blog. I uh, also have pictures, videos, demos and such of all of those products here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. There are, I think I counted 59 products that are being discontinued. I also have a list of new Lush products from 2017 on my blog and I think that's in alphabetical order as well and I have pictures, information, and videos of some of those as well. And so uh, Lush has a new kind of product that they were talking about yesterday called the Jelly Bombs and they are selling uh, right now on the Lush UK site, uh, four, three or four different jelly bombs. One of them is called the Big Sleep. It's the blue one and it has lavender in it. The other one is called Dark Star and it's supposed to have a scent that's similar to Lush's Cinders bath bomb and perfume. So it's got orange and cinnamon and might smell kind of smoky. And I have pictures of the Dark Star and a video of the Dark Star Jelly Bomb on my blog under the uh, Jelly Bombs page. And then Lush also has a green one called Green Coconut. I can't wait to try that one. They also have a Jelly Bomb called Marmalade, but that one isn't being sold today like the other three. It looks like that one will be sold at a later date. And uh, there's another uh, jelly bomb that Lush talked about this morning called Ectoplasm that isn't out to the public but perhaps will be they said later on. I have a demo video of Ectoplasm jelly bomb here on my YouTube channel so I'll put a link to that below. So if you have any questions about any of these products go ahead and comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and subscribe to my channel. And that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video and hit that notification bell down below. What that does is that lets you know um, of every video that I upload, you get a notification and you can watch or not. And I upload one to five Lush videos every week. And so thank you, I appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching my channel. And we'll talk to you all very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.